Hi everyone, my name is Cole McKeel, and welcome to the beautiful U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum in sunny Colorado Springs, Colorado, Olympic City, USA. This will start your journey into the Intro to Sport Business course within the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Today, we're gonna to take a deep dive into the history of the sporting movement. As Mandela said, sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. It speaks to youth in a language they understand. Sport can create hope where once there was only despair. It is more powerful than government in breaking down racial barriers. So what is sport? A sport is classified by seven different elements. It's human, it's physical, or there's a physicality that refers to the physical effort exerted while participating and even while training. It's skill, one would need to practice and educate himself or herself. There's a contest involved. It's rule governed and it's institutionalized, meaning that there's a lawful authority to govern the sport and make decisions to protect the integrity on a macro level. And lastly, there are shared values and commitment, respect, agreement, friendship, community, and mutuality. So now that we know what, a, what defines a sport, let's talk about where it originated. Sport goes back a long, long time ago. We largely have the knowledge of the presence of sport through cave paintings, pottery, and writings, such as in Homer's Iliad and Odyssey. Even today, we're continually finding evidence of sport early and earlier in ages of history. While most people automatically attribute ancient Greece as the birthplace of sport, there are several accounts prior to the ancient Greeks. Let's take a look at some of the examples of sport prior to Greece. As early as the Bronze Age, 3000 to 1100 BCE, there was presence of sport. During this time, sport was entertainment for hire, and usually athletes were lower class hired to entertain the upper class. In Mesopotamia, parts of present-day Iraq, Kuwait, Syria, and Turkey, during this time we see a stone plaque showing wrestlers dated back to 2900 BCE and a bronze figurine from 2600 BCE, also a depiction of boxers from 2000 BCE. We also see the presence of hunting lions as far back as 3200 BCE in the same era. In Egypt, we see cave paintings and writings describing wrestling and hunting or archery from 2000 BCE. We see similar evidence from the Hittites, part of present-day Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, and Cyprus, dating back to the 1680s BCE. During the Bronze Age, we can move to Greece, where we must acknowledge the Minoan and Mycenaean civilizations. During this time, we see a Minoan ritualistic libation container featuring what we think to be bull jumping dating back to 2000 BCE. We also see the Toreador fresco from the Minoans circa 1400 BCE and the Boxer Raton, a Minoan wine vessel circa 1550 BCE, depicting boxing, wrestling, and bull jumping. The Mycenaeans provide us the Larnax, a terracotta coffin featuring scenes of bull jumping circa 1200 BCE. During this time, 1200 BCE, the Mycenaean civilization was burned down and was never rebuilt. During this period, we lose a lot of reading and writing records, and for a long time, most ancient Greeks were actually illiterate. Starting about 750 BCE, during the geometric period, we see the emergence of the polis, an ancient Greek city-state. Greeks begin writing down Homer's works, which show the presence of sport as part of funerals, known as the funeral games. Perhaps Greeks began writing to keep accounting records as well. It's also in this time period when we have the first Olympic Games, 776 BCE, in an area on the Peloponnese Peninsula in the Elis region of Greece and an area known as Olympia, the birthplace of the Olympic Games. The Olympic Games took part to honor the Greek god Zeus and was held at the site of his religious sanctuary. The original event in the Olympic Games was the Stadion, a 200 meter run. Pentathlon and wrestling were the first non-running events at around 708 BCE. The pentathlon competition consisted of the stadion, a long jump, wrestling, discus, and javelin events, respectively. During the Archaic period, 700 to 480 BCE, we begin to see the emergence of mass sport thanks to the shift of the Greek military strategy and the Greek hoplite soldier 
who needed to stay physically fit to be ready for battle. Around 580 BCE, we see the addition of three more games to create the Panhellenic Games, also known as the All Greek Games, known as the Periodos or Circuit. In addition to the Olympic Games, athletes competed in the Pythian Games in Delphi, as well as the Nemean Games and the Isthmian Games. All games honored a Greek god and champions were awarded wreaths that were worn around their heads as trophies. The Olympic Games of Macedonia began around 408 BCE. They are considered the oldest local Olympic Games. The purpose was to promote Greece and Greek values in Macedonia, as well as to popularize the Olympic idea. Alexander the Great, who was known to compete in the Olympic Games, was one ruler who took great pleasure in holding the Macedonian Games. In 279 BCE, King Ptolemy II, the Ptolemaic Games, hosted the first Ice Olympic Games, which they tried to get Greek cities to recognize. It was completely modeled after the Olympic Games, but very differently took place in Alexandria. Proliferation of athletic games came with the spread of Hellenism abroad, reaching lands far and wide. As we move into the 18th century, England becomes the birthplace of modern sport. Most Western sports can be derived from England, and the spread of sport throughout the world is a direct result of the influence and control the English had on the world. Hence, why cricket is played in most English colonies. The English established the club system for sports such as thoroughbred racing, cricket, rugby, and soccer, most notably known as football around the world. In the 19th century, baseball originates in the United States at the Elysian Fields in Hoboken, New Jersey, and it began to be made famous by the Knickerbockers and the Cincinnati Red Stockings, who would barnstorm around the eastern half of the United States. Thanks to Baron Pierre de Coubertin in 1896, the first modern Olympic Games was hosted in Athens, Greece. The Games have taken place all but three times prior to the postponement of the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, which are set to take place in the summer of 2021. During World War I, the Games were canceled in 1916. They were canceled again in 1940 and 1944 for World War II. Today, we see globalization of sports, 206 nations competing in the Olympic Games, participation opportunities for all types of people around the world, TV and commercialization and sport on a grand scale with a booming industry of more than $1 trillion annually. The history of sport will continue well beyond our time here on this earth. Let's hope its future is as rich as the first 5,000 years.